Stages are the building blocks of gaming. Usually, stages become harder and harder as the game progresses, and give you a greater sense of accomplishment when you complete each one. However, some game designers took these things way too far. They take what was supposed to be a challenging stage and turned it into a gamer's nightmare. This list is of the 10 that I believe to be the most frustrating. As usual, only one stage per game and only from games I've played. So, ready or not, here they come. Mamma mia! <laughs> Banjo-Kazooie is a fun game. While most games these days focus on action, Banjo-Kazooie focused on skill. The game was designed like a puzzle, which I love, but one of the levels took the puzzle idea a bit too far. That level was Rusty Bucket Bay. This level freaked me out the first time I played it. I didn't expect pipes and life preservers to come to life and attack me. Also, this level is filled with things that make it extremely difficult to complete, like the gear works, polluted water, radioactive waste, and the return of Snacker! So, you play in your band all the way around the world and back, only to have your soul stolen by the devil disguised as your producer. Now, you have to play through four songs, two of which are extremely annoying, and it all ends with a battle against the one and only Lou. No, 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 not that Lou. That Lou. As much as I love this stage, it still gets me a lot on hardened expert mode. Question. What is the hardest stage in the original Smash Brothers? Master Hand? No, it's the Fighting Polygon Team! Now that you've decimated every foe in the game, you have to fight them all again. At the same time. Face it, Master Hand is a pushover compared to these 30... Uh... Things. The only Sonic the Hedgehog game I own is Sonic Unleashed, so I can't compare it to other Sonic games, but that doesn't change the fact that Eggman Land is hard as hell. Many portions of the course have no floor, which means that you make one mistake and you end up falling into lava, or nothing. You fight a grudge match against the robot you fought in your second day stage. You hijack a car and a rocket, and you can get killed by enemies when you least expect it. But it is lower on the list because I've beaten it more than once. <laughs> Donkey Kong Country Returns has several stages I would have liked to put on this list, but the worst one is Muncher Marathon. On these types of games, I'm the gamer who likes to take their time, and discover everything along the way. But then this happened. Ah! Spiders! Run away! Run away! No, they're gonna eat me! No, I can't let them do that! They're evil little spiders! This stage is hard on its own, but when you're trying to collect all of the Kong letters... Ugh! The Elite Four. Everybody, I repeat, everybody knows these guys. From blue to black to stadium to emerald. 
they have bet the very last stage of every Pokemon game. They also get points for being a likable boss, because rather than loathe, the Elite Four are looked up to in the Pokemon world. They, however, that doesn't change the fact that they're still incredibly tough to beat. The only game I've ever beaten the Elite Four on is Emerald where I have a level 94 Swampert to help me. Don't! Special Cup is hard on every difficulty. 150cc is brutal. The Cup consists of four races, each harder than the last, and you have to try to be first in all of them. And in 150cc, the game tries to cheat by making one character beat all the other computers in each race. So, you really do have to come in first every time. Also, this cup is home to Rainbow Road. Need I say more? A lot of people say that in the original Super Mario Brothers, the hardest stage is World 8-4 Castle. I do not agree with this. Although it is difficult to do in a time limit, there are very few enemies. Whereas World 8-3, there are plenty of enemies! Not just enemies, the worst enemies in the game. You've got Pete Piranhas, Flying Koopas, Bullet Bills, and those Hammer Bros. So many Hammer Brothers! There's a reason why I don't own a lot of shooting games. It's because I suck at them. One of the few shooting games I do own is Star Wars Battlefront. On that game, I can never complete the Clone Wars because of this stage. The Battle of Genesis. In this stage, you play as clone troopers trying to keep the Empire from leaving the planet. You do this by destroying three Techno Union ships. Little do you know that this is very difficult to do. And while you're destroying the Techno Union ships, you have to fight off enemies. And those droidicas. <laughs> Everything that I hate in video games is here. Horrible aiming. Reduced mobility. Incredibly strong enemies. Booby traps. And a ridiculous boss. The hardest stage in video game, in my opinion, is Titania! That you have to play through the hardest stage in the game to save Slippy. Freaking Slippy! Another thing I hate about this stage is the vehicle they make you play it in. The majority of Star Fox 64 is played in an Arwick, but Titania is played in a Landmaster, which is far less mobile and accurate than the Arwick. Also, the level itself is long and difficult, taking down huge enemies with loads of HP and avoiding booby traps. Then, you get to the boss. The boss on its own is difficult, because you have to shoot its forearms, then its head, then its arms again, and then finally its heart. All the while dealing with the horrible aiming controls of the Landmaster. But easily the worst part about Titania is the ending it leads to. Star Fox 64 has two endings. In the good ending, you defeat Andros and save the Lilat system from intergalactic war. In the bad ending, you defeat an android, meaning that the real Andros lives on. 
because of Titania's placement on the map, even if you manage to defeat its boss, you will get the bad ending every single time. Correct, Longbottom. To blow it up. Boom. Boom. Wicked. 